Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is orders of magnitude. This is related to scientific notation and metric multiplier. If you haven't seen those videos, you can go ahead and do that if you need that, uh, that piece of knowledge. So let's say we've got several numbers here, 3, 112, uh, written in terms of scientific notation is 3.12 times 10 to the 2, and all those uh, other numbers, you know, 45 is written as 4.5 times 10 to the 1. All these 10 to the something, these are uh, the orders of magnitude. So 3.12 is to the second order, 1.79 is to the third order, 4.5 is written as uh, 10 to the 1. And the question we want to know is, is 4.5 closer to 10 to the 1 or 10 to the 2? Is 1.79 closer to 10 to the 3 or 10 to the 4? If we're trying to estimate numbers just in terms of uh, their orders of magnitude, we're not interested in the number in front, just in terms of the order of magnitude, are these numbers closer to the order of magnitude they're written in or are they closer to the next order of magnitude? And you'd be forgiven, forgiven for thinking that you know, 1.79 is 10 to the th 3, that's closer to 10 to the 3. Uh, 4.5 to 10 to the 1 is closer to 10 to the 1 than 10 to the 2. Uh, and that 3.9 is closer to 10 to the 5 than 10 to the 6. But in fact, 4.5 and 3.9 are close into the, closer to the next order of magnitude than the one that they're written in. And uh, I'll, show you, uh, I'll show you why that, uh, that's so. So um, let's, let's look at, uh, at what we've got uh, over here. So we've got 3 times 10 to the 2, that's 10 to the 2. And uh, 4, I'm going to claim, is actually closer to 10 to the 3. Now, now why is that? So let's, let's look at 3 times 10 to the 2. I'm just going to write it in terms of orders of magnitude, because that's what we're interested in. We're trying to determine what order of magnitude is it closest to. Well, that, that 3 can be written as 10 to the x times 10 to the 2, because it's right beside it. Um, and, and we want to know what is x. So if you want to know what is x, what do you have to multiply 10 by to get uh, 3? You just have to go through this uh, calculation here. Now, this is a calculation including logs. So 10 to the power of x is equal to 3. So log of that is equal to log of 3. Then using our log rules for math, we can bring that x down uh, and we get 10 base 10 of 10, that's 1. So that's just, that's just a rule from math, um, which we won't go over, but maybe you can go back to your math textbooks and you can see that. So x is equal to 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so we've just done some math. There's no physics in there whatsoever. Uh, and so we solve for x, x ends up being equal to 0 0.48. So now if you go into your calculators and you uh, do 10 to the power of point, uh, 0.48, or whatever the number comes up, 0.477 something, um, you'll get that that is equal to 3. So we've just rewritten 3 in terms of 10 to the power of something. Okay, so 10 to the power of 4, 8 times 10 to the power of 2. So using our exponent rules from math again, we have 10 to the power of 2.48. And that rounds to 10 to the power of 2. So 3 times 10 to the power of 2 in terms of orders of magnitude, that's equal to uh, 10 to the power of 2. Okay, so it's on the order of magnitude of 10 to the power of 2. But... 4 is not. So if we, get, if we rewrite 4 in terms of orders of magnitude, you can do the whole log thing again, log of, um, of 4, that's going to give you 0 0.602, blah, blah, blah. So okay, we'll estimate it as 0 0.6. So 10 to the power of 0.6, which is 4, okay, times 10 to the power of 2, you multiply those two numbers, that's 10 to the power of 2.6, which actually rounds to 10 to the power of 3. So 4 times 10 to the power of 2, the closest order of magnitude of that number is 10 to the power of 3. Okay, you just have to rewrite that 4 in terms of 10 to the power of something. Okay. So very <clears throat> counterintuitive, but that's what it is. So now let's go on and do an example problem. Let's say we want to know how many times greater uh, is 10 to the power of 2 than, ten, than 3 times 10 to the power of 2. So 4 times 10 to the power of 2 divided by 3 times 10 to the power of 2, you'd think that that's equal to, in terms of orders of magnitude, 1. That's on the same order of magnitude, but it's not. 
because 4 times 10 to the power of 2 actually rounds to 10 to the power of 3, remember from before. So we can rewrite 10 to the power of 2 as 10 to the power of 3 because that is the closest order of magnitude. Divided by 10 to the power of 2 because 3 times 10 to the power of 2, the closest order of magnitude is 10 to the power of 2, and that's actually equal to 10. So 4 times 10 to the power of 2 uh, is, in terms of orders of magnitude only, 10 times greater than 3 times 10 to the power of 2. So where is the cutoff? Somewhere in between 3 and 4, there's a cutoff. Now the cutoff uh, we can find in the following way. We just use our regular estimation rules, okay, regular rounding rules, and we say if you can rewrite a number as 10 to the power of 0.5, okay, then whatever, times 10 to the power of, let's say, 2 or 3 or 4, whatever, okay, then that number will round to 10 to the power of 3, the next order of magnitude. So what is this number? Okay, that number, if you plug it into your calculator, 10 power of 0.5 equals, that number is roughly 3.16, okay? So 3.16 times 10 to the 2, for example, will, in terms of orders of magnitude, be uh, rounded to 10 to the power of 3. So 3 times 10 to the 6 rounds to 10 to the 6. But 3.4 times 10 to the 6 actually rounds to 10 to the 7. Okay, remember we're only interested in the orders of magnitude of these numbers. Okay, so um, uh, if you have a number like 3.16, you need to round it up. But if you have a number like 3.15, you need to uh, keep the same order of magnitude. So that, that brings up you know, a strange fact from this, <laughs> which is that 3.16 times 10 to the 3 uh, divided by 3.15 times 10 to the 3. If we're only interested in terms of orders of magnitude, that's actually equal to 10. Okay, meaning that 3.16 times 10 to the 3 divided by 3.15 times 10 to the 3 in terms of orders of magnitude is actually 10 times greater. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you work with uh, orders of magnitude. They're not very uh, straightforward, uh, but as long as you get that, that 3.16 is the cutoff, uh, you should be perfectly fine.